In this video, I'm going to make a free design using free tools, completely free, free, free. This is PhotoP, and I'll put a link in the video description below. It's completely free to use. It's called PhotoP.com, and I'm going to start here by selecting New Project on the top left. And then you get a whole bunch of options here at the start. So what I'm going to do is over on the left-hand side, I'm going to type in under New Project. I'm just going to type in the word Banksy. My width is going to be 2900, and my height is going to be 4060, so that's the size of a display. And I'm going to put DPI here at 300, that's dots per inch. And my background, you can make it transparent, and I'm going to click Create. And this gives us a nice template here that I can start. Now I can go View, and I can go Fit the Area, and that just makes it a little bit bigger. And this will be the area here that we use for our design. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab my background, and I'm going to go to a site here called Pexels.com, and under Photos, I'm going to type in the word Concrete. We're going to see what comes back. And you can see here there's a few free concrete slabs that we can use. I'm going to pick this one here. This is Textures. It's a completely free download. I'm going to click on the top right, Free Download. Okay, and now I'm going to put it in PhotoP. So I'm going to go File, and I'm going to go Open and Place. And then from here, I'm going to select my concrete that I just picked. It's going to pop into the field here. Now what I can do is I can make it larger or smaller simply by dragging one of the corners. I can also stretch it if I want. And when I move the uh, top or the bottom piece, it will actually keep the aspect ratio. So that's kind of a nice feature. You can also rotate this as well. So once you place it, I'm going to click the little arrow button, and now it's placed. You can select this part right there above the uh, top node. And I'm going to hold down the Shift key, and that just locks in a straight rotation. And there is my concrete. So I'm going to use that as my background. Okay, and next up, I'm going to a site here called SVGSILH. It's a free silhouette public domain website. And I'm going to type into the search term butterfly. So I'm going to get back a bunch of butterflies here. I'm going to pick this one right here. And I'm going to download it here as a PNG. You'll see everything here is listed as public domain. Simply click on the PNG and you can download it. Okay, and now I'm going to pop it into my photo piece. So I'm going to go File, Open in Place. There's my image. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to select a little arrow. Now, if you don't see anything, it's because it's sitting underneath. Notice on the right-hand side, my layer is underneath my concrete. So all I'm going to do is just grab my bottom layer and just drag it up to the top. And we can see now it's sitting there. I'm going to make this a tiny bit smaller so that it's, the that it's kind of centered. You can see there's like little guidelines as well. There it is. It's completely centered. And now from here, I want to make this look like it's part of the concrete. So over on the right-hand side, you're going to see the layer itself. I'm simply going to go here to where it says Normal. I'm going to pick Soft Light. So you're going to pick one of these, and it depends on the color of the design. But in this case, Soft Light works really well. Now, if it's too light, you can right-click and you can duplicate the layer. And that'll make it a bit darker. So I'm actually going to duplicate it one more time. And I can see I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. Now, if you wanted to make it a little bit less, you can go to the opacity as well, and you can make it less. So I can bring it right down to the two layers or right up to the three layers. So I have some agency over how I want to make this look. So I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. And just like that, now I've got a concrete background, and I've got a butterfly design. If you want to change anything now, if you're going to scale up these designs, maybe you're working in print on demand and you want to have more, all you can do now is add in a new background. So here I'm going to add in a new layer. So down at the bottom right, I'm going to click New Layer. And then I'm going to go File, Open in Place, and I have a completely different concrete that I downloaded. And we can see that makes it look radically different. I'm going to rotate this. See, if you don't hold down the Shift key, it's really hard to make it exactly top and bottom, like plum. So I, that's why I hold down the Shift key. So now it looks like that. And then I'm going to put it right here, scroll it down. And you'll see using different concrete or a different background makes it look completely different. I'm going to just turn off the visibility just so there's no monkey business as far as extra visibility. But we can see there that looks pretty nice too. So it all depends on what you would like your background to be. Now to save the designs, pretty straightforward. You go to File, Export As, and then you can export it as a JPEG file or any more file types. I would typically recommend a JPEG. If you're selling this as a digital download, typically a JPEG would be good because you've got a background. You're not really going to sell it as a vector. This would be like for a fine art print. Looks good on a t-shirt or as a print. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I like using Photopea. It's completely free. 
Here's another video on how you can supercharge your graphic design skills and have some fun doing it.